too bad. And then I got mixed. Yeah. But let's see if uh, Fauna over here can mix back. Yeah, and I think Fauna is going to be sitting pretty in this matchup with the Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt, of course, having all of those combo-breaking tools, those frame one specials in the can and the Clay Pigeon. And, of course, she's just going to have a fantastic time of keeping the Luigi out. Luigi does not quite have the best horizontal burst movement, so he's going to be uh, you know, having trouble with these lanes that Fawn sets up. Unless, of course, he dash dash just brute forces his way through. Do you, think, do you think Luigi would be a middle laner, a jungler, or backline? I've literally never played League of Legends. I, I don't know what the difference of those things are. It's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> For everyone else in chat, sound off on what you think. It's like that one meme that's like, Babe, what's League of Legends? Don't worry about it, sweetie. Okay. Yay. <laughs> Listen, the world, you're better off not knowing. And right now, Mike Master just ooh, throwing out an up smash. This is really good. And what you were talking about, yes, this is a big obstacle course that Fong can throw out. Duck on Dog is still really light. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're going to get to see the ledge pressure. Not going to be able to uh, time a down air, unfortunately, just because Luigi's recovery is so fast. And instead, it's Mike Master who finds stock one, but can come in right through. That's, that's Fong's homie. Yeah, if any if anybody else uh, you know ruins ruins me or leaves me, I know the can's got me. <laughs> if nobody got me, I know can got me. Can I get an amen? Amen, brother. <laughs> Alright, trying to get a grab. A bit fishing there. Looks like Fonda's just trying to ch change up the tempo. Yeah, but instead, if you're trying to force these sort of scrap situations, Luigi just benefits so much if he's able to find a stray hit. And of course, having the frame data in those up airs and those neutral airs, stray hits are not hard to come by if you're Luigi. Oh, that poor you know, Benito. I know that Luigi's pretty mean, but uh, I always feel bad when I hit him. He's just like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, me too. Luigi as a character is not someone that you want to hate. But Luigi as a fighting game function is <laughs> so hateable. Yes. Oh, excuse me? All right. No one's ever ready for the misfire. I feel like Luigi mains are always ready for the misfire because they always expect the misfire. They, they instinctively know when it's going to come out. <gasps> the sheriff coming through. You're going to jail. <laughs> Straight to jail. Lock him up, boys. This monster is finally getting what he deserves. <laughs> Ten to life. Now it's Mike Master who has to play from the back foot, taking all the all this chip damage from the specials. It should be the kill though into the down special. What is now a with that DI? Fantastic DI from Fawn holding onto the second stock, finding all this extra credit. 83 already. We may be seeing the end of game one. Very soon, Swiss. I don't know. If Mike Master can make it back, no problem, and get to center stage and reset this neutral, he should be okay for at least one more stock. But he just needs to make it back. All right, lands safely. Shielding, jumping over. Fawn having to give up that space to reset those lanes. Set the Sheriff back down. Oh, but air dodging whoa, whoa, right whoa. on top of the can. Actually, Fawn got hit too. Okay, oh, that was very risky. Having to recover high? That was really that, good, actually. That was almost that was almost the luckiest matchup check of Fawn's life because uh, Mike Master air dodged through that Bandito, but it was the lanky Bandito. He is the slowest one, so he was ready to cover that <laughs> to cover that air dodge. Do you think he's the slowest because he has longer arms and has? a bit longer distance to reach to get that gun. That's true. He, he just does have to reach a lot longer to, to draw his guns. Plus, you know, the signals from his brain take longer to reach his fingers. <laughs> and, like, he's just too goddamn tall. Oh, but Rob, maybe just a little too big for this matchup. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen the Mike Master Rob. Nor have I. We're going to see how it works out on PS2 as so Mike Master's well. counterpick. 56% already. Okay, but all it takes is one grab. This is the magical killing robot, but it's a pretty big robot, as we're seeing 
fun at getting these fantastic clay pigeon confirms. All right, there we go. Good stalling. I think Mike Master is happy to have another character in his pocket there for these matchups where Luigi just struggles to get in. But Fawn right now with the item control, almost getting a fantastic no. confirm no, 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 into no, no, the no, no, down no. air. Woo! Okay. All right, dodges right into the bullets. Oh, the perfect can placement there. Forcing Mike Master to get up attack. It's still coming. Okay. Ooh, yep. Nice drift back, back to ledge. Vaughn does know oh, how to play with that no. gyro, though. But oh, Mike this Master is knows how to play with rage as he gets that honestly kind of cheesy up tilt into up air, now putting us in a dead even game. And I think this is going to be just very even because, yes, Mike Master can take so much damage, can brute force his way through by, you know, and be at triple digits. But when your triple digits is robbed, you might as well just be at like a 30%. Mm -hmm. Gyro plate coming into play. Oh, the lingering hitbox of the Clay Pigeon, putting Still Mike Master alive. in a terrible Not position. Not alive anymore. And Fawn utilizing the wall jump that Duck Hunt has to make sure she's able to get back from that deep edge guard. Uh, Mike Master is uh, in a little bit of danger here. Fawn has played many games against Dill. So this, yeah. Rob, this Rob ain't nothing. Yeah, this definitely feels like a bit of a desperation pick from Mike Master. But, I mean, you're picking a what is essentially the equivalent of the broadside oh, of no. a barn against this character with so many projectiles. Have you ever had a barn fall on top of you? It hurts as It hurts like heck. I can't say that I have had a building fall on me, Swiss Rider. Go hang out with the Amish more. I came from Ohio. We had a lot of those. Oh, yeah. Ooh, can. Great DI down from Mike Master, avoiding the can that was coming. Can't avoid that duck, though. Nope. And that is going to be Fawn taking things 2-0 emphatically, I might add. And she is going to be moving on to get did, the revenge. Did she just feel so bad that she paid him? <laughs> did she? I looked away for a second. Yo, can uh, we get a replay no, on that? I, I think it was just a uh, helper probably just was like, here's here's third payout. Oh, and, oh okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? GG's, you know, you were, here's, a, here's a tip. Yeah. yeah, yeah you, you earned a little bit, uh, a Th little thanks, extra. Thanks for throwing. Here's, here's yeah. one on top. Paid actor. <laughs> yeah, you got to go down in the third, you know? Like, <laughs> the gamble core is really real tonight. <laughs> Oh, man. That feels like anti-gamble core, though. Well, I'm fixing well I mean, <laughs> fixing, I think, is a part of, like, the nature. Of, it is. Like, it is. It goes on. against the There's, spirit of gamble core. You can't core. separate rigging from gamble core. <laughs> There's a lot know? I have to learn about gamble core. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I think I'm, we're I'm, all going together. I'm going to catch uh, both these up on what gamble core is. But in the meantime, while I educate them on what gambling <laughs> should be, you can watch some highlights.